Greetings to you all dear students. Welcome to today's English class. Today we are going to read the sixth unit supplementary reader Homeless Man and His Friends. Before that I am going to ask you some riddles. So I shall give you a clue. All the riddles what I am going to ask you are related to animals and birds. Are you ready? Okay, let us start. The first one. I am known as the king, the jungle where I reign. It is hard to tame me and I have a large mane. Which animal is called as the king of the jungle? Yes, you are correct. It is lion. Shall we go to the second one? I travel very slowly while gliding along the ground. Maybe my shell weighs me down. In your garden I am found. Who am I? Think a while and find out the answer. Can you guess the answer? It is snail. You might have thought it is tortoise. But tortoise is not found in our ground, isn't it? Only snail can be seen in our ground. So the answer is snail. Good. Third riddle. I am an animal you might love, but I am too big to be your pet. I have an extremely long trunk and it is said I never forget. Who am I? Very good. It is elephant. I think with the word trunk you might have found out the answer because elephants have long trunk. Now we are going to see the fourth riddle. It is very easy and a very known animal to you. I am a pet that has four legs and a tail at the end. You may hear me barking and I am known as man's best friend. Who am I? Very good. It is dog. Dog is the only animal which barks. Shall we go to the last riddle? You might be called this animal. If someone thinks that you are afraid, this is something that you might eat as well as its eggs that laid. Who am I? Yes, it is egg. Why I have given this word afraid in it? Usually, a person who is very timid, coward, one who is afraid, we call them as chicken hearted. So only here the word afraid is given. So now we have seen some of the animals in the warm-up. Among the animals what we saw, can you pick out the one which is brought up as pet in our homes? We saw lion, snail, elephant, dog and hen. Which one is brought up as pet in our home? Yes, you are correct. It is dog. Most of the people in the world have dogs as their pets. Why dogs are always special to us? Because they have some unique special characters which we can't see in other animals. For example, if you take the dogs, you can list out. They are faithful and friendly. 
they guard people and properties they can read our emotions according to the mood of their master or owner the dogs also change their behavior last one is dog is man's best friend so even though it is an animal it is one of the best friends for mankind now let us go into the story it is not a story it is a true incident which was shared by a nurse in south brazil her name is chris mampre there was a man called caesar who lived in the streets of south brazil in a place called rio do sul he was a homeless man he had to depend upon others to overcome his hunger and always he had a company of dogs around him whatever he got it may be a little food whatever it is he ate only a little and he offered the rest to feed the stray dogs at a time of an emergency the kindness what he showed to the dogs returned back to him like a boomerang you know what is a boomerang isn't it do you know have you read the story jungle book in that we have a main character mauli he will be having a boomerang in his hand actually boomerang is used to hunt animals when you throw the instrument or when you throw the tool the tool returns back to you that is the speciality of boomerang and this boomerang is actually used by the australian hunters and here also the kindness what caesar had showed towards the canines towards the four dogs returned back to him at a time of an emergency now to go into the next incident what happened one day caesar became very ill and he went to a nearby hospital in rio do sul the name of the hospital was regional alto way and it happened early in the morning on december 9 2018 at 3 am he went to the hospital for his treatment as he was struggling very hard the nurses who were in the hospital had not seen him before they did not know about his background or about his health condition because whenever caesar was sick he goes only to a nearby hospital this is the first time he had gone to regional alto way hospital when he entered into the hospital the four dogs which were along with him they also followed him and they waited at the entrance of the hospital for their master chris mamprim the nurse was working in that hospital she was surprised to see the four dogs there immediately she took a photo of this touching scene and she posted it in facebook the dogs were anxiously anticipating for the arrival of their master chris mamprim and her colleagues whom do you call as colleagues s yes. one who works along with us they are called as colleagues chris mamprim and her colleagues understood that 
the man had only the companion of dogs. The loyalty, what he had shown to the dogs, returned back to him. So after the treatment was over, Chris Mamprim did not want to make apart Caesar and his friends. So she allowed the dogs to go inside. Just imagine the situation. How happy the dogs would be. Chris Mamprim was taken in the wheelchair to the reception hall. As soon as the dogs rushed towards him, they licked him and they surrounded him. They wagged their tail and they expressed their happiness. Medication was given to Caesar and also food was offered to him in the hospital. In that situation also, Chris Mamprim had some food and he offered the rest to the dogs. Everyone was surprised to see this event happening before them. Chris Mamprim immediately took photos of all the touching scenes and she posted it in her Facebook and she also wrote an article about it. The love the dogs showed to the master is remarkable. The incredible loyalty, incredible means unbelievable loyalty could be seen in the dogs. After an hour, the treatment was over. Caesar was allowed to go out. Caesar left the hospital. He did not come alone. Yes, you are correct. He was accompanied by the four stray dogs. Very happily, the dogs wagged their tail and went along with Caesar. How nice to hear it, isn't it, dear students? Always remember, the kindness shown to animals is always remembered by them. We may think they are just dogs. Just think of the situation of Caesar. He had no wealth. He had no kith and kin. But he had in his life the most valuable possession is yes, that is the love of the dogs. So human beings, we also show our love. But sometimes because of the situation, we change, our moods change, our characters change and we behave in an indifferent way. But dogs, they are the same from the first to the last. They never change. They are loyal to their master. I hope students really would have enjoyed this story. Now, can anyone try out the summary of the story by seeing the mind map which is displayed on the screen? Yes, in your own words, you can give the summary of the story. See the mind map. First thing, what is the title of the supplementary reader? S. It is homeless man and his friends. Next, he lived in the streets of South Brazil. He offered food to the stray dogs. One day, he became sick. Very good. He went to the hospital. And who followed him? Yes, the four dogs followed him. They waited at the entrance for the master. Even in that situation, Caesar offered his foot to the dogs. Yes, finally, when Caesar was discharged, the dogs happily followed him. Very good. Supplementary reading is meant for pleasure reading. So, when you read the text, 
when you read the story, you might have come across some of the new words or difficult words. Can you guess the meaning of those words? Shall I ask you some words? You have to give the meaning. Okay? Okay, when you read the text, in the first part, we have the words homeless, boomerang. What do you mean by homeless? Yes, from the very word, you can take the meaning homeless, which means a man without a home. Very good. Second one, boomerang. Already I told what is a boomerang. Yes, it is a tool which goes and returns back to you. And what connection do we have boomerang in this lesson? The kindness which was shown by Caesar to the dogs returned back to him when he was sick. Okay. Third word, stray. What do you mean by stray? Can you guess the meaning by seeing the picture which is displayed on the screen? As we find some dogs on the street, isn't it? Stray means wandering. Usually we call the dogs which are seen on the streets as stray dogs. They don't have any house for shelter. They don't have any kennel. Just they wander in the streets. During night time, they settle in a place where they find themselves comfortable. So such dogs which are seen on the streets are called as stray dogs. The meaning of stray is wandering. Next one is wagging. If you have dogs in your home, you could have experienced this. As soon as you return back from your school, or uh, when your father returns back from the office, you can see your dogs running towards you and wagging their tails. That is, moving the tail side to side. It is a kind of expression of their love. So wagging is moving side to side. Very good. Many of you must have given correct answer. I hope you enjoyed the story. Coming to your achievements or coming to the next part, after we complete our studies, when we try for a job, we have to get through a lot of competitive examinations. Even in our 8th standard, we have the talent search examination in which you have to attend questions on your academic side, aptitude, reasoning, logic, and code language. Only when we get through in all these fields, we can get very high marks. We can move towards success. So today, I am going to give you a small example based on the code language. What do you mean by code language? A coding letter or a number which has been substituted for some other thing. So based on the code language, we are going to see two questions. Very easy. You can easily find out the answer. Basically, we can start from the alphabets. Students, we know we have 26 letters in the alphabet from A to Z. So we can allot number for each letter in the alphabet. So A is the first letter. We can give 1 for A, 2 for B, 3 C. Likewise, it goes on. And what will be the last number? Yes, it is 26. So have this in your mind. 1 to 26, we have numbered for the letters in the alphabet. Now see the question which is displayed on the screen. In a certain language, if bug is equal to 30, 
and arms is equal to 45, then carded is equal to what? Already we have numbered, isn't it? So find out the letter which comes along with B. B is the second letter in the alphabet. So give the value for B as 2. And what is the next letter? U. What is the number which comes along with U? It is 21. So 2 plus 21 and G is the seventh letter in the alphabet. So when you add these three, we get the total as 30. So the clue which has been given in the question is bug is equal to 30. So now we have found out the answer for bug. Based on this, now we are going to find out the answer for cadet. That is the question given to you. What is the value of C? Yes, it is 3. C comes in the third place. A, 1. 3 plus 1, 4. Remember that in your mind. D is 4. E is 5. And T is 20. If you add all these things, what will be the total? Just add it. Yes. C, A, D, E, T, add the total. It is 33. Now, have you found out the answer? Very easy students. In the same way, there is another example below. In a certain code language, E, G, G is 577. And I is 935. Just you have to substitute the number in the place of letters. The question asked is, what is 8945? And from the alphabetical order, can you pick out the letter which comes in the 8th place? It is H, S. The letter which comes in ninth place? I. Good. The fourth letter in the alphabet? D. And what is the fifth letter? E. So, the word is hide. H-I-D-E. So, these are some few examples. In the above, we added the total. In the second question, just we substituted the letters for the number. So you can go through lot of examples like this. It will be helpful to you to get through in your competitive examinations. So when you read the story, many of you must have thought, why can't I write my own story? Why can't I write my own experience? Yes, it is open to all. You can write your own experience. You can write articles in a newspaper, magazine, journal. You can write reports about the events which happened in your school. Or you can write reviews on movies. All these things are called as write-ups. So write-up is a written report about something or someone. I will give you some tips to write a write-up. First, have something to say. Without matter, we can't write. So that should be a matter. Second, be specific. Don't write unnecessary or unwanted things. That is very important. Third one, choose simple words. These simple words will make your article to be more interesting. So always choose simple words. Last one, use active voice. It is better to use active voice in your write-up. And use short sentences. Keep the paragraph also short. If you are going to write a very big article, just divide it into four or five paragraphs. 
so that when the readers, when they see the paragraph, when it is very short, they will be tempted to read it. So make your paragraph short. And very important thing, don't use fluff words. What do you mean by fluff words? We call it as filler words, such as so that, that, nearly, rarely, likewise fillers. They are called as fluff words. So avoid using fluff words. Coming to the last tip to write a good write-up. Don't ramble. What do you mean by ramble? Writing lengthy sentences is called as ramble. So avoid writing lengthy sentences. Use short sentences so that when the reader reads it, it will be easy for him to understand it. If you follow these steps, you can have a good write-up. Now shall we try? Try to write about yourself. A very easy thing, isn't it? You can write about yourself. It is a trial for you to start with your write-up. What are the details you will be giving to write about yourself? First, introduce yourself. Who are you? What is your background? That you can write. Second, what are your interests and talents? You may know your own interest. You may know your own talents. Others may not be aware of it. So write about what is your interest, what is your talent. Third, sometimes you might have achieved a lot in sports or in any other games or in any other event. You can bring out your achievements and awards. That you can make it as a third point. Fourth, you can introduce your personal details. How you have overcome your struggles. You might have faced many obstacles. How you overcame it. All these you can bring out. And last very important thing is, use a casual and friendly tone. That is very important. Don't make your article to be too serious. Very casually, in a friendly tone, you write your article. When Chris Mamprim posted this in the Facebook, within few hours, 1,36,000 people liked this and there were nearly 24,000 comments. So dear students, I hope from today you are going to start writing. So make it as a practice. And I wish you all the success to become one of the best writers in future. Thank you, dear students.